WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 44, NASDAQ up 20, S&P's up 8.5. Let's get over and take a look at those S&P's first. So we take a look at the SPY, folks. What you're going to see out here is that the, the SPY is up 71 cents. Uh, you go downtown yesterday with 104 million shares. You're up with 57, bottom line. This is uh, building a little cause for lower price. In fact, you might have set up another B to C of an ABC structure on the way down. If that's what you did, it's a pretty good one because... 289.71 is your A, and uh, 276.71 is your B. So you're talking uh, 13 points, uh, if in fact that's what we did. We take a look at the NDX 100, the same setup inside the NDX 100. Uh, what you have with the NDX is that, you know, you go south yesterday with 42 million, you go up today with 29. That A point up there would be uh, 186. Your B is laying out there at 175. He's talking about 11 bucks. So big numbers. Small caps. We have with the small caps out here. Same type of setup in the small caps. Uh, the differential in the small caps that, that just can't hold price. Uh, small caps have been leading on the way down, continue to lead on the way down, down 42 cents. Uh, they're already broken its lowest swing point at that 148.40. Uh, I expect lower prices. Notes, no, gold contract. Gold contract, folks, I expect as we come into tomorrow, we're going to get a little volatility out here inside the gold market. What we had out here today, you had a good showing uh, inside this uh, gold market. Uh, what we had done is this. You rejected lower price at the 1279 area. You closed at 1293. Uh, you're up $6.90. You've done 272,000 contracts. And you, bottom line, uh, just broke uh, the downtrend once again. You know, we, we broke the downtrend with conviction going back to May 13th. It came, come back underneath that trend line, got above it today again, has the conviction by the move. That says that gold can get up into this 1361.50, which is the high from the February high. Uh, silver, silver uh, is right at the cusp. Now, it's going to be interesting with silver. Uh, silver has been the dog in the metals market. And what you have out here with silver today, uh, you're up nine cents, and that's not a lot. But what you do have is that now we are coming right into the downtrend once again, and we'll see tomorrow morning. Bottom line is that uh, if silver can break this downtrend, stay right there, folks. We get some numbers coming out after the close. To, to recap, out here we had the Dow Industrials finish up 43, Nasdaq up 20, S and P's up nine and a half. We're going to be coming back with Costco, with Uber, with the Gap numbers. Come right back. TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for